Recent research has brought us closer than ever to understanding one of Jupiter's most enigmatic moons, Callisto. New evidence suggests that beneath its ancient icy crust, there could be a vast, salty ocean hidden from view. While previous missions hinted at this possibility, a groundbreaking analysis of magnetic field data from NASA's Galileo spacecraft now strengthens the case for a subsurface ocean. In this video, we'll dive into the science behind this revelation, unravel why it matters, and look ahead at what this could mean for humanity's search for extraterrestrial life. The journey toward this discovery began with NASA's Galileo spacecraft in the 1990s. During its mission, Galileo performed eight flybys of Callisto, capturing valuable magnetic field measurements. Early analyses revealed unusual magnetic signals that hinted at the presence of a conductive layer beneath Callisto's surface, potentially pointing to a hidden ocean. However, these findings were far from conclusive. The challenge lay in distinguishing whether the observed magnetic responses were caused by a salty ocean beneath the ice or by Callisto's conductive ionosphere, which could mimic a similar magnetic signature when interacting with Jupiter's dynamic magnetic field. Recent advancements have allowed scientists to revisit Galileo's data with cutting-edge analytical tools and computational models. By jointly assessing data from three key flybys, C03, C09, and C10, researchers applied multi-frequency magnetic induction methods to separate the contributions of the ionosphere from those of a potential ocean. This comprehensive analysis revealed that the magnetic signals observed could not be solely attributed to the ionosphere. Instead, the evidence increasingly points toward a conductive subsurface ocean playing a significant role in shaping Callisto's magnetic response. These findings suggest that this hidden ocean could be thick and deep, lying beneath an extensive ice shell that could range from tens to hundreds of kilometers in thickness, layered above a rocky core that adds to the Moon's geological complexity. At the heart of this discovery is Callisto's interaction with Jupiter's powerful and fluctuating magnetic field. As the magnetic field shifts, it induces electrical currents in conductive materials beneath Callisto's surface. If the Moon only had a thick ionosphere, the magnetic signatures observed would likely be weaker and more uniform. However, the data from Galileo's encounters tell a different story, one that aligns more convincingly with the presence of a subsurface ocean rich in dissolved salts, which would amplify the conductive response. The multi-frequency analysis used in this study revealed an even deeper level of complexity. Previous models had assumed a simple, synchronized magnetic response, but this recent analysis accounted for multiple frequencies and phase delays. By including additional flybys beyond the previously analyzed encounters, scientists gained a fuller picture of how Jupiter's magnetic field interacts with Callisto over time. These insights show that the induced magnetic response likely arises from a combination of both the ionosphere and a substantial liquid ocean beneath the Moon's icy crust. This combination produces a magnetic signature that couldn't be replicated by the ionosphere alone, strengthening the case for a hidden ocean that is both thick and deep, an environment where liquid water may persist over geological timescales. The potential discovery of a deep ocean beneath Callisto's frozen exterior carries profound implications for our understanding of habitability in the solar system. It challenges the long-held belief that life-sustaining environments must exist within a narrow, habitable zone around a star. Here on Earth, life thrives in extreme environments, such as hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor, where sunlight never penetrates and energy is drawn from chemical reactions between rock and water. If Callisto's ocean is in contact with its rocky mantle, similar conditions could arise, potentially fostering ecosystems that rely on chemical energy rather than sunlight. Callisto joins a growing family of icy moons thought to harbor hidden oceans. 
Europa, for instance, has shown evidence of water plumes that suggest a dynamic ocean beneath its crust. Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system, displays signs of a subsurface ocean through its unique magnetic field. Saturn's Enceladus is perhaps the most compelling candidate, with plumes of water vapor, organic compounds, and other chemicals erupting from its surface. Clear signs of a hidden ocean. Titan, with its methane lakes and possible subsurface ocean, and Neptune's moon Triton, suspected of geothermal activity, further expand this intriguing list. Unlike Europa or Enceladus, Callisto shows no signs of significant tectonic or volcanic activity. If an ocean exists beneath its dormant surface, it challenges the assumption that internal heating or tectonic activity is necessary to maintain liquid water. This suggests that other seemingly dead worlds could also conceal subsurface oceans, broadening the potential for life across the solar system. NASA's Europa Clipper will investigate Europa's ice shell and potential water plumes, offering indirect insights into Jupiter's magnetic environment that could benefit future studies of Callisto. The European Space Agency's JUICE mission, arriving at Jupiter in 2031, will conduct detailed studies of Ganymede, Europa, and Callisto, analyzing their magnetic fields and searching for evidence of subsurface oceans. China's Tianwen-4 mission could also contribute valuable data by studying Jupiter's system, including Callisto. The implications stretch beyond our solar system. If life is found on Callisto or any other ocean world, it would suggest that life is not a rare cosmic anomaly but a common phenomenon, capable of thriving in a diverse range of environments. Future missions could even send specialized landers or cryobots to drill through the icy crusts of moons like Europa or Callisto, directly sampling these alien oceans for signs of microbial life or unfamiliar ecosystems. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the mysteries of Callisto and the search for life beyond Earth. If you found this exploration enlightening, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for future updates on the latest space discoveries. Until next time, keep looking up because the universe is full of surprises.